so today we are going to create journal prompted pages for the inside of a journal where you want them to be able to have prompts to help them write inside of it, okay? First thing first, we need an eight and a half by 11 inch document. Before you do the cover or any other pages, use Vote Create for your interior pages first and then add your cover in any additional pages. If you do your cover now, along with your interior pages for Vote Create, it will duplicate your cover X amount of times that you do. For example, we're doing 30 journal prompts. So if we had a cover and the interior pages, it would duplicate both pages no matter what 30 times. So do your interior first, then add the cover in other pages last. First, click T on your keyboard to bring a T on text box up for you put it at the top this is just our placeholder for now if you don't um if the t doesn't work on your keyboard click text on this left hand side panel to add one l on your keyboard brings up a line so we're going to drop this down to a one hold down shift and bring it over duplicate and go ahead and do the spacing that you want between your lines. Duplicate it all the way down or hit Command D to make the duplication go a little bit faster. Anytime you feel like something is not aligned, just highlight it three dots and you will see space evenly is not here or under position. Tidy up is grayed out. So we are all even. OK. You can do your prompts using Chatty or whatever source or your own. But in this example, I use Chatty. Her name is Breezy. And we're going to copy the longest prompt in order to continue setting up our initial page. This allows us to get the sizing, the formatting, and things right. Because if the longest one can fit, y'all know the rest. So with the rest of them, okay? So we set this up how we want. You can add elements to this. So if I wanted to add a flower to it, we can do that as well. And just continue to add what it is that you want to on this page. So I'm going to add this to the bottom corner. I'm going to do a transparency on it just so it can be a little fade, but it exists. Go to position to send it to back and say, for instance, I'm now happy with my internal pages. I can select this. I can now go over to the left hand side and go to apps. Scroll down until we see Bolt Create. Enter data manually. Clear the table. We're going to title this prompts because we're doing a prompt journal but this title really doesn't matter but for selecting things go grab all 30 prompts now instead of just that long one copy and paste it by right clicking hit and paste right here then we're going to hit done connect data is populated now this is where we select prompts Check to make sure advanced option says one design with multiple pages. Hit continue, generate 30 designs. And now we're going to view design and we have our prompted pages with each page having a different prompt. To check the overall look of your pages, bottom right hand corner, click these four squares and open up grid view. This is where you see if you need to make any changes or adjustments with the pages um, through Bolt Create. So this is how you use Bolt Create to quickly create the interior pages for a prompted journal. Now you're able to add any additional pages like the cover, back cover, belong to page, motivation page, or etc. Now that you've done the interior part, utilizing Bolt Create.